Hey guys, today is day 5 in this Kerala series and we are visiting Ernakulam, the city of Kerala and this is Kokolo Museum behind me. This unique museum is the best example of traditional Kerala architecture. It's an ideal attraction in Kerala that gives the knowledge and learning about God's own country. The structure is made of wood, laterite stone and clay tiles. The collection is divided into three floors, ground, first and second. The ground floor represents artifacts from Malabar. The first floor has collections from the epoch of Portuguese in Kochi and the second floor houses the artifacts collection from Travancore. The museum occupies the largest ethnic collections of more than 6,000 artworks. There are costumes of dance forms like Mohinatyam and Teyam, antique properties including the oldest Bible, old writings, instruments, antique chairs, etc. Hey guys, so I'm in Fort Kochi, the Chinese fishing nets you all can see around here and there. So these nets are operated by four fishermen at a time when they use it and it's spread around 20 meters. These nets, how they got here, actually there was a Chinese uh, guy and a Chinese explorer. He came during the 1350 to 1450 AD and he established these nets, the concept of Chinese fishing nets here. fish at display was tempting but unfortunately couldn't take back anything home. We then got to see some skills at work. The history of the Santa Cruz Church dates back to the 16th century but was constructed in 1905. In this church, the mortal remains of Vasco da Gama was laid to rest, which was later shifted to Portugal. Then we stop by to have some local toddy. Next we visited Chu Street and bought ourselves some fresh banana chips. And that's it with this entire series of Kerala guys. If you'll have missed the previous episodes, then do watch them. Till then, take care. Bye.